today is the first day of February 2023, which means it is time to do our recap of all the cool things that happened last month, first month of 2023. Can't believe it's already over. The athletes did a lot of cool things. We got some people training for the South Beach Strongman Classic. We got some people training for Louisiana Strongest Man. Let's check out the video. Before we do that, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Cost you nothing. Helps us out a lot. Let's get to it. Go. First up, we have Elena. This is her first time ever pulling a truck. She has signed up for Louisiana Strongest Man and a woman as a novice woman. And for those of you, because I've seen people comment on this on TikTok on some of our women's videos with truck pulls, the person in the driver's seat is there to hit the brake to make sure it stops. That is all they are doing. This is Brian Sanji. He's been a member with us for over a year now. He's not currently signed up for any competitions. This is his first time ever pulling a truck, and he did fantastic. Some people just, uh, the rope is a little too much. You can't cycle the hands fast enough, so you just wind up letting go and using all legs. And this is David Harris. Harris. From Harris Made Strength, he's from California. He was in town visiting family and decided to come to one of our Strongman Saturdays. Next up, we have India. India has also signed up as the lightweight novice woman for Louisiana Strongest Man. And this was her first time ever pulling a truck as well. She did absolutely fantastic. I want you to get a look at these biceps. Landon wanted to give it a second try. Her second round felt a lot more comfortable than her first round. Next, she wanted to give her natural stone a try. So we have a 150-pound natural stone that we're using for the women's novice because we don't have Hussfeld replicas that are they're light enough for that. But we were able to find these natural stones that were Hussefell shaped and they are going to work out great. If you saw Mr. Preston, he threw that mat down because he thought he was just she was just going to pick it up, put it back down, but she decided to take it for a walk. It was her first time doing this, and she did absolutely fantastic. I think she's going to do very well at her first ever strongman competition. Good job. Next up, we have Katie. So this was the stone height that Katie actually missed at the 30th Annual Ruguru Classic a few months ago. She was determined to hit this by the end of the year, and she just narrowly got that. All, the, all these videos so far, they happened on December 31st, so it technically wasn't January, but I had already put out the January, uh, I'm sorry, the December training log, so I added these in because cause I think they were cool. And I really think they need to be shouted out. After a huge grinder, she got it. Next, we have David Harris. He, uh, he took one look at that 150-pound natural stone that we had and decided he was going to press it. So David's been in the strongman game for a good while. Uh, he owns a company called Harris Made Strength. Fabricates some cool stuff out of California. And he was able to give us some pretty cool insight on different events that we were working on. Very much appreciated him coming by. Next up, we have India, who looked at this stone and said, there is no way in hell I'm picking that up. Then not only did she pick it up, she took it for a run. This was her first time ever attempting this stone. And when I say she killed it, I mean she absolutely killed it. She is also going to do very well at Louisiana Strongest this year. See Daryl hyping her up in the background. Gets all the way to the end. Good job, India. Next, we have Joe. This is 280 pounds. This was a huge deadlift PR for Joe. Very proud of how far this man has come since he started training with us a few months ago. And I think he does one more rep here. Next up, we have Daryl with 540 pounds. I'm not sure how many reps he gets here, so let's check it out. Let's 
set up. And there's one, two, three. Let's see if he gets another one. Not sure if he does or not. I don't remember. There's four. Does he get one more? And there's five. Good job, Daryl. Next up, we have one of our newest members. This is Dylan. This is his first day ever touching a log, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe his second. He uh, he found us from Google. He's always wanted to give Strongman a shot. He actually showed up with a Brian Shaw shirt on. So I'm glad he was able to find us, and I'm glad we were able to find him. It's a welcome addition to the team. A little bit of Hoosfellstone carry. Father and son duo, the Hairstons. And then we have Matt doing his press medley for the Southeast Strongman Classic, which is happening next month. So if you're going to be at the Southeast Strongman Classic, I'm going to be there accompanying Matt. Come say hi to me. And then big press. And then we have Dylan again. This is his first time ever touching a yoke. And he did fantastic with it. So Dylan is thinking about signing up for the heavyweight novice division for Louisiana Strongest Fan this year. If y'all think he should sign up, I want you to comment down below. Now we have a little bit of lever ladder deadlift action going on. This is Jessica giving her comp weight a shot. She is also signed up for Louisiana Strongest Man and Woman in the Women's Novice Division. So when you get all the way back here, that lever gets pretty heavy. There's only, there's only two 25s on the uh, device, but this is over 200 pounds in the back. Now Dylan gives it a shot. This was his first time ever attempting this event. When he showed up, he was like a kid in candy shop. He wanted to try everything. But that's pretty common for guys that are coming for the first time. And he did fantastic. Next up, we got Jessica giving that natural stone an attempt. I honestly don't remember if she gets this attempt or not. I know she did. I know she got it at some point last month. I just don't remember if I, if I actually caught it on film or not. Okay, she got to the lap. It was a struggle, but she got it. Then we have Mark taking the 310 stone for a ride. If you want some of these replica Hoosfell stones, you get them from Sticks and Stone. It's out of Houston. It's one of our newest members. This is Brandon. Giving this press medley from the Southeast Strongman Classic uh, try. He is also thinking about signing up for the lightweight novice for Louisiana Strongest Man. And I think he should do it. Yeah, Brandon is one of our newest members. He joined this month. Next up, we have Matt. So that first barbell that he's on, that was originally supposed to be a circus barbell, but we found out it is going to be a barbell with tires. Luckily, we had some of those, so we were able to get it trained. 
it into a log that is a 12 inch pit bull log really wish that company was still around but they are not anymore from what i understand and then onto the axle if you like that shirt that matt's wearing you can get it on the website atlasstrengthshop.com then we're back to more truck pulls we got brandon handling the rope for Brandon. It's funny watching these guys train together. They just kept screaming, let's go Brandon to each other as a motivational tool. Next up, we got Katie. We really need to get a smaller harness for our smaller athletes. Generally, it's most it's one size fits most, but if you have a really small torso, unfortunately, you can't really do much about that. Next up, we have Van. This is his first time ever pulling a truck. We told him quick feet, and he just hopped. I think we have his other attempt on video as well. His other attempt looked a lot smoother. But yeah, this man pulls all this with his arms. So we have Brandon doing the Viking press. This is the Viking press that we will have set up for Louisiana Strongest Man. It's going to work much better than our original plan. Next, we have Seth Touche. This is his first time pulling the truck here, if I'm not mistaken. And then Brandon with the Viking press and his Homer Simpson pajama pants. Good job, Brandon. Next up, we have Seth's wife, Taylor. We are really trying hard to convince her to sign up to compete in Louisiana's Strongest Man as the lightweight nov or I'm sorry, as the women's novice. But as of now, she's not really interested in competing. She just comes in strong as hell and shows everybody up. Next up, we have Jessica. Gets a few reps. Not bad at all. And then Brandon with a huge 600-pound PR. This kid's been chasing 600 pounds on squat since we met him, and he finally got it. So huge congratulations to Brandon. He's going places. So that's it for the video. Like I said, if you like it, please like it and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out a lot. If you thought all this looked cool and you're in the Baton Rouge area, you want to be part of this community, hit me up on Instagram. That is the best way to get in touch with me. If you're not in the Baton Rouge area and you still like to support what we're doing here, you can do that a few ways. You can check out our programming options on the website, or you can check out our apparel options on the website. If you're looking for a competition, we have Louisiana Strongest Man happening April 1st. The link for it is on Iron Podium. Hope to see you all there. Until next time, see ya. Thank <laughs> you.